my favorite film photography advice is probably please waste film. Really. But the model is here somewhere. Hopefully, um, I did not cause misdirection. The plan was to do a sunset shoot and a little misdirection on my behalf made it a post-sunset shoot and it really became a post-blue hour shoot when there was a technical problem. Now we're good. Okay. All the batteries are in the back. The strap broke off. Okay. Oh my god. But still. Yeah. No, I guess I'll have to use the little tripod socket now, but it's okay. Long story short, a single 9 volt battery is not enough to power a Hasselblad 500 ELX, no matter what eBay says. And also, the strap broke off my light meter and I lost the little lens cap for the spot meter and I didn't even know it. So that all contributed to this very late shoot as you can see. However, I wanted to shoot with flash so I decided to just give it a go. There were some nice city lights back there which uh, I didn't expect from my city. I was feeling pretty unsure about everything and it seemed like everything went wrong with the shoot but I pressed ahead. I was shooting Kodak Vision 3 500T 65mm trim down I got off of eBay and it suffered badly in shipping. And uh, it feels like I did okay considering I think I could have done a lot better and if I had brought a tripod to put the camera on it definitely would have helped so I decided that we were gonna try this again a few days later and see if we could improve on this. I definitely should have documented the moment because I knew it might happen but last time I was out here my light meter strap mount broke and that also held the lens cap for the light meter and I didn't realize I lost it until I was already home. I've been meaning to go back to this spot all week but I didn't and when I came out here it looked like the grass may have been cut recently so I'm like well it probably got mulched but then I noticed something as I set up my flash. The uh, Sekonic light meter cap. So yes I have my light meter cap back. I'm gonna clean it up a bit and I'm just gonna stick it right back on the light meter. With the location set and understood, we only had to get there on time to get the late sunset and early evening. Is that an old Tommy camera? Yep. That's cool. cool camera, yep. This spot is on part of a disc golf course. So these two people were passing through and the father of the duo wanted to know about my camera as you could hear. So that's always fun and that's one of the things I really enjoy about Hasselblads and things that look like old film cameras, like not like a 35mm SLR or DSLR I should say. Anyway, so we were starting at a good time. On the topic of wasting film, I think digital photography while allowing us an endless playground to get better and improve and experiment with techniques also makes us more insecure as photographers. We want to check everything on digital and we justify it by saying, oh, they used to do it on Polaroid pillow parts. But the thing is, they didn't always do that. I mean, not necessarily for commercial work or something, but it's something that can be done. And I've found it to be a lot less intrusive on the whole session if I just don't chart out the digital camera every time I wanna make sure my flash shadows look good. You can learn on digital and learn a lot from it and you can kind of get a feel for the lighting direction and stuff. But I think when you get some of the bare bones down, it's good to just dive in. Now, right here, you'll see in a second, I actually couldn't see to focus on her because she was essentially silhouetted. So I handed her my phone with a flashlight on and had her shine at first the light on the sparkles on her skirt and then eventually on her face as you'll see. And I feel like even though this shot on Portra turned out real funky, this one on E100 uh, really just delivers. And so yeah, I knew pretty well that within the that end of the role of Ektachrome I shot with her that we had pretty much gotten what we had come for the first time. 
so I decided to push ahead and see what else I could do with it. And also, I like to push until I start messing up photos, I guess. You could say uh, I wanted to see how far I could go and experiment and just find out what we could do and what didn't work and I'd know more for the next time. There we go. It falls, it falls. So one of the things I thought about the first time I shot out here was that I was shooting it with just a reflector which creates a hard light source which means means well-defined shadows and I decided this time to use uh, what's called a strip box and I had a honeycomb grid in there which makes it a narrower beam of light so it doesn't like shine on everything but uh, I decided to do that to help cut out what flash hit the ground around her and also to soften the light on her it's sunset so the light's going to be softer anyway so I feel like it matches pretty well and it helps just control the light in general so I shot these on Portra 400 which I don't always get along with but with these certain colors uh, in the background and the sky and then that really cool jacket I think it did beautifully and I was super happy with it and sure I could have gotten a little more foreground exposure or something but I think considering that I was just trying to like go for bonus points here I I'm pretty happy so as things got darker I started getting less sure but I decided to press ahead and I had the tripod this time unlike last time so I could start really slowing down the shutter speeds of course I forgot a release cable so I had to be extra careful not to introduce camera shake which found its way in there anyway but you win some and you lose some so what I'm doing here is mirroring the ambient light with the flash I use a light meter to get the flash setting and then switch it over or use my phone meter to get the ambient light setting. And you have to be careful here to not overread the sky because you'll lose some on the background but you have to choose at this time of day often if you want a well exposed sky or a well exposed mid ground I guess actually in this case. I chose the sky of course and so marrying the flash with the ambient light by checking the readings on the light meter I could do that without having to resort to using a digital camera although it's a good way to learn it's just when you can get that out of the way it's kind of nice to work with so now we're well past blue hour but we decided to try for one more shot that we saw last time we were out here and involve this shop that used to be a gas station which had its lights on last time we were there for some reason tonight they did not and all we had was that light from that distant vape store and it just kind of like ruined the vibe and instead of calling it a day I decided to go through one last roll of film and see what we could manage which involved her driving her car up here and uh, combining it with a flash and the car headlights and this is a lot trickier because there's just no ambient light in reality and once again I knew full well that this was going to be like blackness with a car headlight and some background light and a flash. And I felt like maybe it wasn't worth shooting because the ambient light was just going to be really hard but to deal with. But I decided to press ahead because we need to waste film sometimes. I mean, I don't mean it like in a privileged kind of way. I just mean that if we play it safe so much, we're never going to really get far enough or learn the medium well enough to do more adventurous things with it and by the way i balance this out by taking a reading of her legs and those car headlights and then matching that with the flash output and then i just got the ambient as bright as i could with a slow shutter speed i could manage without a release cable which as you can see wasn't very good but also the places where I lit the picture better, like I had light falling on the mask of her face and everything, uh, I think turned out pretty well uh, when it defined the area that we were interested in. Could have had a second flash here and done some cross lighting and make a like a rim light along the back of her head so you could see. But again, that's something that I wouldn't have picked up if I hadn't done this already. So now I have ideas for another round of photos. So thanks for watching and waste some film, you know, a little bit at least. Subscribe, like this video, turn on notifications, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.